Todd and I'm Miss Donna Victoria and welcome back to our channel. Today in autumn it's a beautiful time of year here in <laughs> Sicily and it's the start of pomegranate season. And look at these. I know aren't they beautiful? We're fortunate enough to have a gorgeous pomegranate tree right here in our yard so we took advantage of that and just picked these beauties today. And I have to tell you not only do they look good but they taste even better. I know. So we're gonna have to make some really good recipes with these huh? Yeah so let's show them a recipe today using these. All right. <laughs> So for this uh, pomegranate recipe, it's a really simple, easy one, isn't it, Victoria? But it's packed full of flavor. It's easy is. and flavorful. And quick. Hello. <laughs> Can't go wrong. But it's a crowd pleaser. Yes. So let's show you how to do it. We're going to be making a cheese ball that you can serve to your family and friends when they come over. Sounds good. Let's show them how we do it. Okay. So we're going to start by melting two tablespoons of butter. And today we're going to use dry sage because we didn't have any of the fresh sage in our garden. Yeah, but if you're going to be using fresh sage, which would probably be the best thing here, um, you would probably use about eight leaves or so, would you say? Yeah, eight to ten leaves. Yeah, and then what you do is you just sear them in the butter, get them nice and caramelized in there and toast them. But dried sage works perfect as well. So you can do either one, whatever you have on hand. But I have to say, this smells really, really good, having yes, the butter and the sage melted together. Well, because it brings out the nuttiness of the butter when you slowly melt it. And where we don't have to cook the sage or fry it, we're just really going to melt the butter and let the sage infuse it so we can use it in the cheese mixture afterwards. And the more toasted you get the butter, the more of that nutty flavor you get out of the butter too. But you want to be careful not to burn the butter also, right? That's right. Yeah. So you have to keep an eye on it just to make sure it doesn't get too dark. So that looks pretty good, huh? Doesn't that look good? So now that you can see it's melted nicely and started toasting, it looks perfect. I'd say it's done. What do you think? I think so. So we're just going to take this off now. We're going to put it aside, let it cool down a little, and we'll get mixing our cheese. Sounds good. All right. All right, to so start with our cheese mixture, first of all, we have some cheddar cheese, we have some mascarpone cheese, and we also have some Philadelphia cream cheese. Yum. And we also toasted some almonds up that we'll add in afterwards. Sounds perfect. So let's get putting these in, and I'm gonna grab my spatula that we used to melt the butter. So we'll just put this in there. That bit. I'll give that to you, Victoria. Let's use the mascarpone cheese. Yum. Right. Good thing we're not lactose intolerant, huh? <laughs> well, if you are, you can't eat this. Sorry. <laughs> it's just one of those things. I know. Such a shame. Perfect. All right. And then let's sprinkle in the salt and pepper while we're at it. I'll let you hold this. And we'll zip it right up. All right. All right, so now that we get our cover on, we're going to put the little motor in there. And we're really going to mix this up. Well. And then we'll just check it and we'll scrape down the sides so we can mix it up a little bit better. Mm. It really smells yummy. All right. Looks beautiful. All right, so now that we get our cheese mixture, Nicely mixed. We're going to put in our toasted almonds that we did a little earlier. Yummy. Put this back in there. We don't want to, we're just going to pulse it. We just want to break them down a little bit. We don't want to pure, 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 pure them really. Yeah, you anything. just want to let it chop on it. Let's just check and see if we can. All right, so now that we pulse the almonds in there, we're now gonna use the butter that we have infused with the sage. And we're just going to get that in there. 
Smells so good. Doesn't it? Again, when I wish we had smell-o-vision, huh? <laughs> smell-o-vision. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so the butter's all in there with the sage. And now we're going to do uh, mix it up again, pulsing it. We don't want to get the elements too chopped up too much and uh, mix it in nicely. Sounds good. All right. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so now that we got our blades out, we're just gonna give it a, a really good thorough mix to make sure that butter and that sage is in through all that cheese. You can really see how nicely it all melded nicely in there. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to form it into a ball. Hence cheese ball, huh? <laughs> Hence cheese ball. <laughs> it's not just a nickname, but it's an actual food. All right, let's get doing it. All right, so we laid some saran wrap out. And now we're going to put the cheese mixture on there, right in there. And what you're gonna do is gonna be a rough ball. We're gonna to try to do the best we can of getting it in that nice shape. And then we're going to refrigerate it for 30 minutes. And then we'll show you what it looks like and we'll finish molding it into that ball. So our cheese ball has been refrigerating uh, and chilling nicely. And in the meantime, what we did is we cleaned the pomegranate and get that ready for us. So now we're going to get the cheese ball out of the saran wrap that we wrapped it in. Look at that, Victoria. Oh, it's beautiful. Right? I think it's already a decent shape. Perfect. So what we're going to do is now we're just going to gently roll it and encrust it with the pomegranate seeds. So we finished the cheese ball, mm -hmm. Victoria. And it okay. looks so good. You think we should try it? Oh yeah, let's do right. it. You have a... <laughs> Notice we have crackers this time. We don't have a spoon or a fork. Okay, let's try this. Let's see, a little cheese, oh, a little pomegranate. You're already in there, huh? Mmm. As good as we remember it. Mm. It's just so good mm. and so easy too to prepare. This would be great for when you have company or oh, you're yeah. entertaining with your family. Mm -hmm. Love it. Or if you want to splurge some weekend for yourself. That's true too. <laughs> just really good. <laughs> Highly recommend it. So we'll put the recipe for mm -hmm. you down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll say ciao, ciao for now. now. Ciao, ciao. 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 Oh, so, so good and really easy too. <laughs> it really is. <laughs>